right in here. As soon as we hit the. You good? He's good? All right. I'd like to call to order the uh, April 26, 2021 Royal Palm Beach Village of uh, Parks and Recreation Advisory Meeting Board Meeting. Welcome, everybody. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, before we begin with the uh, tonight's agenda, I just wanted to read a couple of things on how to how people can participate in these meetings. Uh, these are interesting times, and we've adapted to those uh, times. So, of course, people can can participate in person. The public may participate in person at the Village Meeting Hall, 1050 Royal Palm Beach Boulevard, Royal Palm Beach, Florida, 33411. Physical attendance will be governed by current public health directives and shall be limited to ensure adequate social distancing and provide a minimum of six feet of open space between all persons physically present. People can also participate via computer, tablet, smartphone, or I guess any other device. Uh, public may participate remotely by joining GoToWebinar from your computer, tablet, or smartphone via www.royalpalmbeach.com com forward slash web meeting and additionally people may participate via telephone public may listen only may listen only via phone remotely by dialing here in the United States one six three one nine nine two three two two one and uh, I guess they can't dial in from overseas uh, and then there's a webinar ID of six two three five six eight six six seven with an access code of seven three six. Seven one seven five one two. All right, excellent. Um, so now I'd like to uh, call roll. Uh, and Chair Carlton Brooks is he online or not present? Is he absent? Vice Chair John Rufa, that would be me, and I'm glad to be here. And I believe I am here, so I am present. The wonderful Phyllis Katz. Present. Excellent. Shinoi Ragaraj is absent. John Reardon, unfortunately, uh, uh, is not here this evening. Uh, Dennis Siebert is not online. Dennis, are you online somewhere that I can't see? Nope. Okay. Dennis is absent. Sandy Rubin is the wonderful Sandy a warrior, Rubin. Absolutely. <laughs> from, uh, from not Yonkers, say again, what can't Rockman count? <laughs> right. Uh, Leslie Leffler. Hello, Leslie. Welcome. And Councilwoman Selena Samios is on. And we're not. She's not. Uh, we don't. We don't have to have a liaison to participate. So hopefully, she'll show up. Um, first order of business this evening would be the approval of the minutes from the last meeting. Um, do I have a motion? I was not here, so I'm not going to motion to approve. Okay, I did. I did read those. I will vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. The motion is approved to approve the meeting. Any comments from the public this evening? Since our only public I see is <laughs> Eva. Public. <laughs> Anybody online? Is it? Oh, somebody's online. Is that Shinoi? Yeah. Shinoi, how are you, bud? Shinoi is muted. You have to unmute Shinoi. If we can adjust the uh, attendance record to show that Shinoi is present. And can you give us a thumbs up if you can at least hear us? All right, great. Uh, any reports from members of the board? Starting to my left, um, Sandy? Uh, the only thing I would like to report is we had a meeting with Steve and talked about another drive through luncheon for Young at Heart. And uh, we're looking for October 1st. And the last one was very successful, and uh, we hope to have the same turnout. Excellent. Thank you. Ms. Leffler? Nothing to report. Cats, no? You know, before we were getting started this evening, we were having a little discussion. Phyllis was telling me that back in 
such so long distant future that the village or some of the communities in the village, specifically Greenway Village, used to host, uh, used to put on a theatric productions every year, and they were quite the hit. Be interesting to get something like that going back in the day. That would be nice. So, anyway, thank you for sharing that with us, Phil. A lot of good history in this building. A lot of good people. Um, I have no reports. I just want to welcome everybody and hope everybody's doing well. And hopefully, soon enough, we can get back to some semblance of normal in our society, in our endeavors, in our government. So, it has been certainly a trying 14 months. It's 15 months. Long time. So, and uh, updates, Mr. Lou Recchio, director of our Parks and Recreation Department. I think you've been the director now. Can you give us a little background, Lou? How many? What year did you start? Like 1984? <laughs> Before that, you were in Wellington for a while. me now. Can you hear me? Yeah, he's got his thumbs up. Kenoy, can you hear me? Yes, he's say, telling you he can hear you. Yes, he's got his thumbs up. Testing. Testing one. <laughs> he's telling you he's hearing you. Oh, in the back. Oh. Light technical difficulties. You want to come up? And Can you hear me now? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start this again. Um, basically, tonight is for reorganization. Uh, that we do it every year, and we have to push it off in a matter of time because we have to wait for our uh, council to have their reorganizational meeting so we see who our liaison is. So uh, basically, we'd like to uh, welcome back uh, Councilwoman Simios. So uh, we're, we're glad to have her back. She's, she'll be our liaison for the next year. And then uh, all those who were uh, on the board are all being re reinstated, so there's really no changes as far as our membership. We do have to appoint a chair and a vice chair. So uh, at this time, we'd like to take uh, nominations for chair. I nominate Phyllis Katz. Sandy Rubin is vice chair. Okay, Phyllis Katz has been nominated for <laughs> chairman. Are there any other nominations? If not, we'll we'll close the nominations. All in favor of Phyllis Katz as uh, the chair for the coming year? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Phyllis, you're our new chair. Congratulations. Congrats, Phyllis. <laughs> what was that? Voice from the past. <laughs> no, no, no. This is Brooks. Oh, that's Shinoy. Oh, no. Shinoy, yes. <laughs> no. No. I <don't> think so. <laughs> Someone else is on. This is this is this is Carlton. 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 Oh. oh. <laughs> I was trying to get on for quite a while and I'm here now. Congratulations, Phyllis. <laughs> Mr. Brooks, it's so nice to hear you. It's so nice to hear you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> since, since, since I was quietly re, um, removed, um, thank you. 
but I still want to be on the board. Very good. Okay, Carl. Okay. Next, you. we'll uh, open nominations for vice chair. As stated, Sandy Rubin. Sandy Rubin. Any other nominees? We have, Jerry now. We have it. We have a second by uh, Phyllis Katz. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Opposed? Nay. Yeah, the ayes have it. Ayes have it. Send you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, should be a good. Should be a good uh, administration coming up. Sandy is the uh, vice vice chair. Thank goodness it's not for four years. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the the, uh, the next item uh, is basically not on your agenda, but uh, we were notified today that we will be um, giving out the J and J vaccines on Wednesday over at the cultural center, and it'll run. Wow. Hello. Go ahead. I got mine already, so I'm all right. Can you Here can you turn your volume he had down? It tomorrow, he said something about having. Wednesday. Wednesday. What time, Lou? Wednesday, nine o'clock. First At, come, first serve. First come, first serve. You'll go in. Uh, we gave them out last week, and um, it was the Pfizer, the first uh, first round. The second round of the Pfizer will be on May 12th at the Cultural Center. So those people are already notified and, and scheduled. But uh, this is first come, first serve. You go into the Cultural Center. You'll receive your vaccine, and you'll sit in the, um, the ballroom. For 15 minutes, and then you'll uh, you'll be free to leave. And again, J and J is only one one uh, one dose. J and J. Yeah. Um, yeah. I understand that they've been having a little trouble giving away the J and J because of what was in the past and because it was paused and everything. There. Well, they've been cleared. They were cleared this morning to to uh, go back online. So. Yes. Lou, just for clarification, so that the Johnson & Johnson one this Wednesday is over at the Cultural Center or the, at the Commons Park? At the Cultural Center. Okay. And okay. then the second dose, if you already received the Pfizer one with us, is May 12th. May, May the 12th. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And that's also at the Cultural Center. And are no appointments needed? You, you, ha you don't need a, an appointment. You just walk in. They had three the uh, three hundred doses last week, and uh, we actually only gave out like seventy. Mm -hmm. So again, we're, we've got it out on the sign boards. Um, you know, we're we're promoting it for this Wednesday for the J and J. Okay. Well, that's certainly a testament whether you're going to get vaccinated or you've already been vaccinated. And don't want to take the shot. Yeah. The fact that we've got it down to such a, a nuanced level. At the community, here we are. Yeah, and you and you notice that a, a lot of that uh, says a lot. A lot of the you sites have actually do. closed down. Um, you know, I know in the county, uh, the fairgrounds had like sixteen thousand vaccines uh, doses uh, available, and they 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 gave out like uh, six thousand. Huh. So they had a lot left over. Um, so hopefully, we're, it, it's going to be made convenient. Very convenient for everybody to get those vaccines, and uh, we encourage everybody to take. I know people that, that drove two, three, four hours. Yeah. Lou, Mr. Director, any additional updates? Um, no. Um, working on our budget for the upcoming year. And uh, it's going to be a difficult one only because, you know, this past year was pretty much lost in uh, justifying and how we're going to bring uh, not only p 
people back, you know, as far as staff, the programs, how, how are the programs going to come back? It's, it's going to be hard, you know, because I'm, I'm sure people are going to be still a little skeptical, and it's going to take time. It's going to take time for people to get back into the uh, normal routine, uh, so to speak. We are, ha we are going to be running a summer camp. Uh, we've cut down the numbers. We've cut them in half. So there's nine kids to one camp council, where uh, prior than that, it was 15 per camp, camp council. So again, it's, uh, there'll be no trips. We're not driving them or transporting them to any other locations. Um, it'll be at the rec center or it'll be outside on the, either it could be on the basketball courts, it could be in one of our parks, uh, but we will not be transporting. What is the attendance now that you can have in a uh, in a room? It's it's still the same. We're still keeping maintaining six foot distance. What about what, what the amount? Doing? How many people? What are we doing for what? No. What about the gym? The gym will be part of the uh, activities with the summer camp. Again, again, they will keep their distance. But if they're playing basketball, mm -hmm. they play basketball yeah. outside. They can go outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Skate parks open. Skate parks open. Well, that's cool. um, but there, there'll be a lot of activities that they that they will be able to do. Given our previous conversation before the meeting about the lack of adult leagues and participation in sports here compared to where it used to, maybe we should have some camp, summer camps for adults. Get them out of the house. <laughs> Let them throw some water balloons, have a little fun, <laughs> bring their own lunch. <laughs> I mean, you know. I, I know. I mean, that's that's the uh, you know the summer camp is the probably the next uh, largest program that we have that's going to be taking place. We will be holding uh, Memorial Day services at Veterans Park at 9:30. Um, Fourth of July, uh, we will be having activities, more of a family fun type day. There will be no fireworks, uh, but we will have uh, live entertainment and we'll have, uh, you know, um, concessionaires out there for, for food and, and beverage. And we'll have games for, for everybody to participate in. But we're not going to conduct the, you know, large fireworks display that we've had in the past because we don't want to bring in 20,000 people into the, into the park. Um, beyond that, uh, one thing that we're very happy is we're going to be doing something different where we are going to, if we recall Shakespeare by the Sea up in Jupiter, uh, took place for many years. Um, this year we're having Shakespeare... Um, in Commons Park, and they're going to have the play Twelfth Night. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Shakespeare's plays. I, I can't say that I know what the Twelfth Twelfth Night is, but I understand it's it's uh, one of his better um, better pieces of work. production. Was um, so th anyway. That's going to be that's. Gonna be Who's talking? Carlton. Carlton, can we help you? No, 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 I'm just trying to pronounce to tell you about the play. The date of the play. Yeah, the, the, the play is going to run, it's going to be eight night, eight different nights. It's going to start okay. the last two weekends of August. And I believe it's the 16th. 17th, 18th, and 19th, which is a Thursday through Sunday, and then the following, mm -hmm. then the following Thursday through Sunday, and it'll be taking place. Okay. It'll okay. Take, thanks. Okay, it'll be taking place at. Uh, it'll start at seven o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. And we're we're looking okay. We're looking at uh, this being an annual event. We're hoping that uh, Royal Palm will be known for 
uh, Shakespeare. Uh, we're not sure if it's going to be Shakespeare under the palms or Shakespeare at Commons. So that's tough, something that we're working on. We'll okay. See. And pretty much that's that's pretty much all I have. Uh, any questions? No. Uh, before we adjourn, I just wanted to give uh, Shinoy. Uh, you, you have anything to add to the meeting this evening, Shinoy? I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, I, I regret to inform you guys. I believe this will be my last meeting, as I am no longer going to be a resident of Royal Palm Beach. Oh, why? I decided to move to Stewart, um, and we've relocated there. So, well, we I, wish you much, much luck and prosperity in everything you do. And I'm sure our paths will cross again. I'm um, absolutely yeah. I still have a lot of collections in Royal Palm. Um, unfortunately, um, as much as we're Royal Palm Beach, we do not have ocean access in Royal Palm Beach. So. Um, at this stage, we've decided, you know, the kids are out of the house, too, so. We wish you a lot of luck. luck. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Shinoy, for all your years of service, though. We really appreciate uh, it. And we're going to miss Joe. So, just so you guys know, Joe's graduating from UF this weekend. Oh, congratulations. Uh, I know John will be another UF uh, proud. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't UM, though, so I don't know how excited. But thank you guys all. I enjoyed uh, my time in Royal Palm Beach. We loved it. It was just uh, that time to uh, take the next chapter in our lives. So thank you all. Very nice. Best of thank luck you. to you. And Mr. Thank you. Mr. Brooks, anything to add before we adjourn for the evening? Uh, no. I am um, very pleased to hear that everybody is doing well. And congratulations to the new uh, appointees. And I hope when the weather gets better, I can come in and continue my service. Well, we look forward to seeing you again very soon. And with that, uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, tonight, April 26, 2021, Park Rope Hall Beach, Parks and Recreation Advisory Board meeting. Aye.